Yo, how's it going? Colin here. Starting to uh, look at it. It's crazy. Right, anyway, forget about my hair. Just ignore it. Because it's going to get worse, isn't it, until the barber shop open. I'm not going to cut it myself. I can't do it. And I look horrendous with the uh, hair shaved off. So, back onto the K. We've got um, the turbo done in the last one. If you haven't seen any of the last ones, you've got to check it out and it'll bring you up to scratch check the playlist out if you're new to the channel welcome don't forget to subscribe as well so first thing we're going to do is plumb the intercooler up do that and then the oil feed and the oil return so yeah and fingers crossed it doesn't go boom bang clatter it just goes or whatever it does all right stay tuned guys let's crack on with this one trying to uh, get the intercooler plumbed up so we're just going to mess on with some pipes now and try and get the intercooler all plumbed up we're just going to run the exhaust just for testing it just out the front like that bop, 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 bop. With everything that's going on in the world right now, we can't just go and buy the pipes that we need to sort of make it look cock on. So we've had to go through taking bits off any of the scrap cars that we've got. And obviously they, that's come off the focus. Um, and we've just had to sort of sleeve and put some pipe inside. So well, it's plumbed up. It might not look the best, but it's going to do its job. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take all this off now and then we're going to put the uh, the feed in for the oil, oil feed and then we're not far off to see if she'll uh, she'll want to give us a tune with the coil pack obviously we're just going to have the coil pack sitting just just for the time being just to make sure everything's all right it's no point making any brackets and then and then none of it work so mm, fingers crossed it's gonna work What we've got here is the uh, oil pressure switch, which is there, and this is how we're going to tap into to get the oil pressure up to the turbo with this TPC section. So it'll screw into the block, the oil pressure switch will screw in, and then with these bits, Sam will get it plumbed up into the turbo. Now we're getting the oil return from the sump, we were just going to whip it off. This is a spare one that we've got, and we've actually found out that uh, to get the um, sump off, you've got to park the gearbox to get to these two bolts here, which uh, is going to be a nightmare to say that we're just wanting to test to see if it'll work first. So what we're going to do is we're going to adapt on the car the oil pump to be the return for the oil. This is just a temporary measure. Um, I say that, but it'll probably stay permanent if it works. Um, just to get the oil back into the pan. Because there's a lot of work to do just to get the, the sump off to put a hole in further up. But it's something we'll probably end up will doing. We'll see. So what we'll do now is we'll get the return done. And then we'll look at the pressure side. So yeah, let's crack on. So basically, this is what we've done just to get the oil back into the pan for the time being. So that's threaded into there. We're just gonna uh, test it. Obviously we've got that CV boot to put back on. Obviously we have to take the uh, dry shaft out to get the uh, manifold off. So, and then that return loops up to the top. It's really hard to see. See, and then goes up over to the turbo there. The oil return comes from there. Sam found a piece off the, the Astrovan turbo that we use. They're just bolted on 
with a new gasket and then that sets off to go down back to the uh, sump or the oil pan and then these are what we're going to use for the, the water feed as well so yeah let's start plumbing up and let's see if we can get a tune out of it fingers crossed it didn't go bang right so what's the plan the plan is that in the block you like that don't you do you know what I'm starting to been doing it what Paper. It's union. It's made my head was mashed trying to understand one quarter in, I don't know, I can't remember what it was now. NPT, somewhere like that. Uh, quarter, eighth. Henry. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what Sam's doing now is putting the braided hose into the block where we remove the oil pressure sensor. It's really hard to see, it's very hard to see with the camera. So the best thing is to do, to access it, take the oil filter off, take the starter motor off, and then you can get to it. It's still fiddly to do, but I'm sure you can all manage it if you want to know where to tap in to get your oil feed from. So yeah, that's that one done. So we'll get up the top of the engine now. One time, start to move it. pressure feed now that Sam's just plumbed up comes around there T piece is there where the oil pressure sensor is here and then it goes down to where the oil pressure sensor would have been plumbed in down behind the block it's really hard to see but you, you'll have seen when we were removing it off on that clip and I showed you as well so we've just got to extend the wire now for the oil pressure sensor from down the bottom up to the top job done so that's the oil pressure plug plugs onto our press sensor, just was one single wire. Sam's just gonna chop it now, join it and extend it so we can get up to the top now. Our, our and that's his pigeon. You like your pigeons, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do like his pigeon. Right, so you're gonna go find a piece of wire? And a piece of wire? Yeah, not unless there's some wireless wire somewhere. We've got loads of wireless wire. Right, so the feed's done. Bolted it off on a P clip, just under the thermostat housing. Tied the um, the wire around that goes down and joins up for the oil pressure sensor, and then the feed into the turbo. So yeah, looks neat and tidy for what we got to use. Right, so now we've got the oil feed and the return done. We'll plug up the uh, intercooler pipes properly just bolt the exhaust on and then we'll see if we can get a tune out of it oh we've got the oil put, put back on on the start motor obviously where we've got access to the uh, oil pressure switch so let's uh, jump onto this one <laughs> Right, so all the intercooler pipes now are uh, bolted on fast. So we just need to stick the starter motor back up 
from where we had the access to the um, oil pressure switch. Start motor back on, then we've got the oil filter to put back on. But I suggest put the uh, yeah put the uh, starter motor on first because it'd be easier than the oil filter. So yeah, that's awesome. And uh, we're not far off having it running. So as Sam would say, as I would say. well, as I would say then, let's crack on with it. Starter motor's back on, all the coolant pipes are on, the um, oil filter's on, uh, and the battery's going on, and then, yeah, we're gonna uh, put, put the battery on. No, I think it's gonna be too loud, isn't it? Well, it's gonna be a lot quieter with a straight pipe on it. Oh, we, we'll just start it without putting the exhaust on. I was just gonna put a bit of flexi up stuck out, but um, I don't know. Let's do it a lie, might be able to put a silencer on the end of it though. Cherry, cherry bombs stuck on it, it's funny. We'll chuck it in the back of his big van. I don't think we can get it on. It's got to be a mammoth job getting the exhaust on it. Let's just see if it can run. Yeah, we'll need to move all the coolant pipes anyway. Right, so we won't bother with that. We're just going to chuck some oil in it, chuck the battery on it. And then we'll get ready to uh, fire it up. We decided to try and put the exhaust on just temporary coming out. I think it's going to be too loud. And for the time being, we've just got the coil pack here just, just bungeed out of the way before we have to reroute and work out how we're going to do stuff because we want it half decent. So as soon as we've got the, uh, the exhaust bolted on, we'll, uh, we'll see if she runs. And I am nervous. I've never been so scared in my life, I don't think. Right, scrap that. The exhaust that we've got doesn't fit on the uh, the turbo. So we're going to have a go at starting it, but it's going to be proper, proper loud if it runs and doesn't leak oil or doesn't go bang. So I don't know what it's going to sound like if it runs. And I'm nervous, but sod it, let's just try and start it. Are you scared? No. No. Are you a little bit scared? No. Why? I'm not. I've got plenty more engines to put in when it blows up. Oh, if it blows up, yeah. I never thought about the battery and that boost pipe there uh, colliding here. No, they're not. Tight fit. Tight fit, she's in. She's in. It's going to be proper, proper loud, this, isn't it? <coughs> Got the air defenders. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll run it. Yeah. We're about 20 seconds on tick over. Then we'll start seeing the little boost, and you, that's when you're going to have to start checking the pipes to see whether the swallowing one is ready. Right, yeah, we'll just start, just, just let's have to start it up, and we'll see. I'll just see if it leaks or anything. Well, it sounded. I 
can't believe it boosted. I can't believe that. Right. Yeah, boy, she runs. Right, so we're going to wrap it up for that one. The boost gauge I bought is an electronic one. It's a proper nightmare just to plumb in quickly. So we'll save that for the next one. And then obviously we're going to start looking at doing heat stuff, running the water into the turbo as well. So we've got that to root. And we've got to sort out routing all the coil pack and everything and just tidying things up and just getting to um, fuel lines. We've got to be all changed because they come across here. So we're going to bring all the fuel lines out the way. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, have a beautiful time and stay safe, guys. Bye.